every operation produces some kind of waste. And if it's produced on a ship, it will be difficult to manage it, as ships do not have enough storage capacity and cannot dispose of them into the sea due to international pollution prevention regulations under MARPOL. This is where marine incinerators come in handy, which burn the solid and oil waste following the minimum pollution prevention requirement. In this video, we will discuss how marine incinerators operate and the procedures of burning waste oil and solid waste. But before we proceed, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do press the bell icon. Marine incinerators are designed to burn waste generated on ships, including waste oil, sludge and solid waste. It is an essential part of any ship's waste management system and helps to reduce the environmental impact of ships. These are the types of waste which are produced from daily ship operations. Solid wastes consists of paper, rags, etc. And oil wastes usually come from leakages, oil changes, machine cleaning, bilges, etc. This waste oil is collected from the ship's machinery spaces and stored in waste oil tanks. The suction of this tank is connected to a waste or sludge oil pump, which sends the oil to the waste oil burner. Before burning the oil, the primary burner of the incinerator is started to ensure that the primary chamber is heated. A forced draft fan is provided to supply oxygen for combustion inside the primary chamber. Once the desired temperature is reached, the waste oil burner supplies the oil inside the incinerator and due to the heat in the chamber and the flames of the primary burner, the waste oil ignites and burns. The primary blower maintains a stable supply of air once the primary burner is off and also does not allow the temperature inside the primary chamber to increase beyond the limit. The waste oil burner or atomizer keeps burning till the pump is stopped or there is a change in pressure. A pressure regulation valve continuously monitors the oil supply pressure to the burner. And if there is any increase in the pressure due to the atomizer not working or burning the waste oil, it will recirculate the oil to the return line, safeguarding the pipeline. The burnt gases are the byproduct of the waste oil, which require further burning. This is done in the secondary combustion chamber, which is separated from the primary combustion chamber using a ceramic wall. The flue gases are burnt out in the secondary chamber, and then they are drawn out from the exhaust passage. Sometimes, an induced draught air ejector is fitted to easily draw out the air from the secondary chamber. When burning solid waste, first make sure it is safe to open the loading door. Open the door and feed the solid waste from there. There is a safety switch which cuts off the primary burner when the door is open. Hence before the operation make sure the door is properly shut. The heat inside the chamber will burn the solid waste. If needed, fire the primary burner to burn the remaining solid waste. Make sure the operator and crew knows the local regulations in different parts of the world which prohibit the operation of incinerators. We hope that this video has helped you to understand the operation of waste incinerators on ships. For more such information on ships, shipping and maritime, please subscribe to Marine Insight.